All right, what is up, guys? Uh, it's been a stressful, uh, what has it been, a week, week and a half, something like that, uh, since the roof raise. So, yeah, just gonna talk about that for a second. Everything actually went really well with that. Uh, using the uh, the trailer jacks worked out great. I mean, it was like maybe five minutes cranking on those before we were able to get it in place. Uh, it worked great. I mean, we just needed four people and uh, really took no time at all. Probably over-engineered it, but it is what it is. I paid the money, uh, it worked out, the thing didn't collapse. But uh, yeah, I will say the one thing that I am dealing with a little bit was just the body settled. Uh, so I don't really, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that one. It's been, it's been pretty tough, pretty weird. Uh, I think the front passenger corner kind of settled on me. And then uh, I know the back, what is it? The back rear end was hit at some point, ran up against something. So the luggage bay doors aren't closing quite right. Uh, so yeah, just been trying to straighten that out. Uh, went out and got some more bottle jacks and I've just been working on uh, each corner, just trying to get it all leveled out. And I got five, five of the bay doors open and closing pretty normally, nothing too crazy right there. Uh, I got one that's just not quite working for me. Um, no matter what I do, I just, it, it won't return back to how it was before the roof race. So I'm a little, little frustrated right there. So I'm gonna uh, keep trying to work at that. Uh, right now I got the front and back end pretty much welded into place. I got four columns welded in as well, along with the jacks are still in place. So it's pretty stable right now. Um, yeah, just trying to deal with that. Uh, trying to keep it as straight as I possibly can. I don't have the level as the ground, uh, but I did what I could. So yeah, it, it, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, I'm working with what I got. Uh, just gonna kind of keep pushing. I don't think the body's twisting or anything like that. Again, I think I'm dealing with with a wreck bus. Uh, you know, and I mean like probably, there's probably some tension in the roof. Uh, I know it kind of acts like a truss system. So when I cut that away, I know some things opened up and uh, yeah, just trying to clamp it all together before I start welding, making sure my measurements are right. Uh, just really pushing for that. And hopefully once it goes back to the ground, everything's okay. But yeah, just been very frustrating, uh, a little overwhelming. I'm just doing what I can. Uh, I'll flip you guys around here in a second, kind of show you what I've been doing. Uh, but other than that, it's been great. Uh, having that extra headroom has definitely made a difference. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, I'll show you which, what I've been working on. All right, so yeah, we actually have the uh, cover on the bus right now just because we got bad weather, it's a little cold, so kind of kind of doing what we can right now. So yeah, I got this front corner uh, just tacked in place for right now. I got a few other things I wanted to do to it, uh, finish it out. Uh, passenger side looks pretty good. Uh, welds ain't the best, but it's holding for right now. Um, so yeah, I got those two put in place and then along with that horizontal uh, right here. Uh, tacked in place, so I gotta plate it, uh, clean it up, make it look a little bit better. I also have to finish out those two, uh, but other than that, feeling pretty good. I'm gonna have to create a new uh, uh, end cap piece. Uh, probably gonna make that out of uh, angle iron and just wrap it all the way around. That way, I have something to uh, attach it to. Uh, let me see about everything else. Uh, everything else has worked pretty good. I've been using ratchet straps to keep it pretty squared up. 
I uh, don't need those anymore because it's actually doing, it's staying pretty much in place. Uh, yeah, welded this section in. Uh, you can kind of see. Just put that in for right now. Uh, I'm going to go back and beef it up a little bit more, cut away pieces that I don't really need. Uh, and again, I'm going to make this uh, that piece of angle iron wrap all the way around. That way this cap has something to hold on to as well. So I feel pretty good about that. Uh, still pretty frustrating that things just aren't leveling out. But for the most part, we should be fine. I feel pretty comfortable with it. Uh, yeah, I, have, I haven't even welded these in place yet. But yeah, these are just kind of making sure that we stay pretty in line with it. Uh, here's one of the jacks. Uh, yeah, like I said, that did great. Just kind of, I welded this uh, half inch rod in there just to kind of give it a little bit more bracing. That's worked out. These are welded in place, so they're actually holding up the middle along with the horizontal. I gotta move that up. I wasn't too happy with that one, but yeah, for the most part, everything's going pretty well. Uh, door still opening and closing. Uh, don't have any issues with that right now, but yeah, it's not, they, they ain't the best of welds, but it'll hold. So yeah, everything's been going pretty well. This is actually my MIG welder, so been using that nice and easy. So yeah, like I said, I mean, that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, I got the, you know, front and back welded together for right now. I got the middle supported, so I feel pretty good about it. Uh, might have to give some people a call about the body settling. I don't really know what's going on there, and it's kind of frustrating. Um, but like I said, I think I'm just dealing with a wreck bus and some shitty repairs. So it might be what it is, what it is. So I mean, what is it, it is what it is. There we go. Uh, so yeah, just gonna keep playing with it. Uh, really just gonna hope for the best when I set it back down and hopefully it all straightens back out. So that's just pretty much where we're at. Uh, still waiting on some suspension. Still waiting on some suspension parts. Uh, hopefully they come in soon. I'd, I'd love to fire this thing up. Uh, especially now that it's getting kind of cold just to make sure everything's still working on it properly before winter time really hits. Uh, but for the most part, everything's looking good. Uh, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed. I'm absolutely stressed the fuck out. This has been a lot. I uh, do not recommend this at all, but I did it. So, got to deal with what we got. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And if I don't make any more posts, that means I probably gave up and burned the bacon down. So, thank you guys for following. If you want more videos, I'll keep trying to post to YouTube, uh, Instagram. I even got a TikTok. That's pretty bad. Uh, I even got a Facebook page. So, give me a follow. Uh, really appreciate the support we're slowly growing on instagram uh yeah i even have like a i think i'm up to like 30 followers on youtube so doing what i can and uh yeah really appreciate you guys following along <laughs>